Hello there. I'm George Putnam. I'd like to begin with a fact, a simple yet shocking fact. It is this. A flood tide of filth is engulfing our country in the form of newsstand obscenity and is threatening to pervert an entire generation of our American children. We know that once a person is perverted, it is practically impossible for that person to adjust to normal attitudes in regard to sex. Yet much of this material has been described as an illustrated, detailed course in perversion. Through this material, today's youth can be stimulated to sexual activity for which he has no legitimate outlet. He is even enticed to enter the world of homosexuals, lesbians, sadists, masochists, and other sex deviants. They constantly portray abnormal sexual behavior as being normal. They glorify unnatural sex acts. They tell youngsters that it's smart, it's thrilling, it provides kicks to be a homosexual, a sadist, and every other kind of deviant. Well, at this point, my friends, I wish to make it clear that the obscenity I'm talking about and the examples that I'm about to show you were not bought on the sly from under the counter. They were not purchased on skid row or on the other side of the tracks. They can be bought openly by anyone in drugstores, groceries, delicatessens, terminals, malt shops, cigar stores, newsstands, all over the community. They can be purchased by children. It approaches another class of magazines dealing with transvestites, wherein the wearing of female garments is that which provides sex gratification for the participant. And it is important to realize that even if you knew that your own children would never, under any conditions, buy or read this material, if you knew this, and you can't know this, you must realize that they are constantly exposed to those who do read this material and who might be triggered into compulsive acts of sex violence. This same type of rot and decay caused 16 of the 19 major civilizations to vanish from the earth. Magnificent Egypt, classical Greece, imperial Rome, all crumbled away, not because of the strength of the aggressor, but because of moral decay from within. 